Hello. Good evening. My name is Susan Holt and I am an artist. Today is Zen's Day Wednesday where I paint live uh, with you guys. So I'm going to wait for a couple more minutes before starting to actually paint anything. Getting arranged here. Hello, Missy. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, for those of you who are new here or maybe joining me later on in the video, I do try to watch the videos uh, afterwards and I do comment afterwards back and forth with you. I try to keep up with the commenting that's happening while I'm painting, but sometimes it gets away from me. So I will comment uh, with you afterwards if the um, if I miss a comment or a question while while I'm painting, while I'm looking down away from the camera. So um, this is the painting that I did last Zen's Day Wednesday live. And I think it looks really great. I had um, Chandra on with me at that point, and she suggested the colors of purple, blue, and green. And I think it came out really wonderfully. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> we'll be putting some dots on this this evening. So earlier today, I posted... Uh, this, which is the three dot selection that I was hoping everybody would comment on. We got a few comments. Number one here is the winner. So that is the one I will be painting on to the big painting tonight. We'll set this out of the way so it doesn't get mushed. Hi, Cousin Tam. How you doing? Hey, Maria. So, okay, I am going to get started. Mix up my paint a little bit. And what I have decided to do on this painting is a spiral over here in this area. And I might do a smaller one here. And we'll see what other opportunities arise. I was thinking of doing a linear design here, but this gets too narrow up the top, so I've decided against that. So again, if I miss your comments, I will live. I will go back afterwards and rewatch the video and comment back to you then. Maria says she can't wait to see how it will turn out. Me too. Me too. I am often <laughs> wondering how things will turn out when I start a project myself. <laughs> okay. So up here, I do have a little bit of glare from my light that is on. But if I don't have that light on, then I don't see as well as I need to to paint so... I'm sorry about the glare on the painting, but it's going to have to stay there. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get started. So I have not put a center spot up here. Sometimes I mark it with a pencil, but I have not done that tonight. I think I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, yeah. Why am I going to eyeball it? Because I can. Because sometimes I find a ruler to be too fiddly and I just don't want to deal with it. So that's how I feel tonight. So that's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. If you have any questions during, I'll try to look up and um, see them and answer them live. But if I don't, I will... 
comment later. But please feel free to comment and to talk back and forth with each other while I am painting and a little bit distracted. All right, Maria, we'll see you later. She says she has to go to class. We'll check the rest out when she uh, gets back out of class. And I will be moving the canvas around so it's not going to stay this position the entire time. anybody have any fun stuff that's gonna happen during the holidays? Hubby and I aren't doing anything really. We're gonna stay home and avoid people because of the plague. Plague! It's a fun word to say. It's not a fun thing to go through, but it's a fun word to say. So today is my sister's birthday, and I will not tell you her name, and I will not tell you how old she is, but she's not as old as I am. <laughs> so I called her tonight to wish her a happy birthday. We talked for a little bit. That was really nice. Now that we're adults, I enjoy talking to her. When we were kids, we did not see eye to eye on a lot of things. But I'm glad that we can talk now. I don't know if anybody else in my group is a December baby or not. I am not a December baby. I don't like the cold. I don't like the snow. I mean, I like snow. I just like it where I don't live. <laughs> I would rather be warm than be cold. And I don't mean overheated, I just mean warm. So next week, I'll be 
asking everybody for their ideas on what to title this piece. I like to wait until I get the paint all on it before, before I, I look at it and think about what it reminds me of. Think of a title for it. And I will give you two or three title suggestions and then ask you for yours and ask you if you like one of mine better. I have a spreadsheet of possible title names and used title names because I don't want to reuse a title name. I'm sure I have in the past, but now I have my spreadsheet, so hopefully that won't happen again. But asking you, my VIPs, what you think something should be titled really helps me because it kind of gets me out of my head. Because my brain works the way it works and your brain works the way it works, but I, I sometimes don't have, well, a lot of times don't have the same information that you have in your brains. So me asking you what you would title a piece just gives me access to thoughts and ideas that I wouldn't otherwise have had. And I think as an artist that those are very important. Because it gives us, it gives us some uh, time to get, it gives me time to get to know you. And it gives us a whole opportunity to see things from a different perspective. And those of you who know me know I'm big on seeing things from different perspectives. So we'll ask for title suggestions next week. I think I'm going to stop there. That'll give me room to put the end designs on.
Hi, Melissa. Thanks for joining me tonight. All right, so again, this is number one here, is the design that uh, people picked out for me to put on this painting earlier. So that's the one we're going to be going with. I am going to set this over here so I can see it. may modify it a tiny bit as I go along and paint, but we shall see. We shall see. It's a little tricky when you can't set your hand down close to an edge because the canvas fluctuates and dips so much. I don't want to push my canvas out of form. So while my hand is touching the canvas, it's not pushing down hard on the canvas.
If you hear whining in the background, that's my dog. She comes in and checks on me when I'm painting. Very sweet. Two days ago, I was in here painting and both the dog and the cat came to check on me. Okay, there it is. Turn that for you. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, video here for tonight. I may do another couple small little mandalas on here. I may not. Hi, Patty Joe. Thanks for joining me tonight. But I'm going to end that here. I've got some little dots that came off the white as I picked up my um, tools. So I need to get those blended in with the background. And that part I am not going to show you. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get it all set up. And then, like I said, next week we'll be asking for titles for this piece once it's finished. But uh, for those of you who joined me tonight, I'm so glad you joined me. Thank you so much. Um, I will see you here next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is Arizona time right now. And I wish you all a very good week, and I will see you soon. Happy, happy, uh, happy holiday shopping. Bye.